Okay, I'm running solo today. I got the camera on a tripod. It's St. Patrick's Day. I'm home alone with the spud. Uh, I'm gonna try to throw this one together. Yeah, we're gonna make corned beef and cabbage with booze in it. Yay! Okay, super simple. I got a two and a half pound. Forgive me, I'm gonna be out of frame. I got a two and a half pound flat cut corned beef. I'm gonna lay it in the pan in a slow cooker. So I'm slow cooking this. Yeah, I know. There we go. Fat side up. Could be down. I never remember which is which. Packet of. I know, I got it. Packet of peppercorns. There we go. Cutting the lid off. Dump the peppercorns in. Good, good, good. So far, so good. I'm gonna move this over so we can see what we're doing. I know. I'm trying not to upstage you, little bean. So. There we've got the slow cooker. We've got six potatoes, washed, quartered, peel them if you want, I don't care. There they go, look at that. What do you think? Good? Yeah, am I blocking it? Here, there you go, everybody should see you at all times. Yeah, I know. Let's see, check the frame. Oh good, you can all see that, everything's fine. Let me just adjust. Look at that. So, we've got that. Got about a half dozen carrots chunked up. Those go in too. You may say, where, my friend, is the cabbage? Cabbage won't go in until this is approaching done. I brought for the secret ingredient. We're going to slow cook this in delicious Guinness. This was on sale. $5.99 a six pack. That's a tremendous value. That's just going straight in over the top. I had it this way once at a restaurant up north and I was amazed by it. Loved it. So now we do that every year. But my secret ingredient, a splash of 100 proof not Irish whiskey. Just like that. You'll notice how I'm not drinking. Since I am in charge of the spud, look at me all responsible. Yes, because I love you very much. I won't touch you because I've got raw meat hands. i got to wash up first. So that's it. I'm going to put this on low. And that's going to run for, uh, I don't know, probably, I'm going to go about six hours. On. Yeah, about six hours on low. And then we'll check back with probably an hour or so left, and then I'll finish up by putting in the cabbage. That's it. This could not be any easier. I, I know, I give and I give. So that's it. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. We started at about 10, 30, so 11, 30, 12, 30, 11, 30, 2, 30. It's been about four and a half hours. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to take the lid off here. I know. You hush over there. Mom will be home soon. Um, the potatoes are pretty much done. We're approaching done. We like the potatoes very mushy. What's that? Cabbage, you say? You're right. We're going to add cabbage. Um, I'm just putting in as much cabbage as going to fit. I know. Cabbage makes you go kaboom. So, the upshot is, is even if the cabbage doesn't fit, yeah, I know, the cabbage will eventually start to get squishy. Mm-hmm. Everybody's a critic. Uh, and, I don't know where the hell I was going with that. The cabbage will get squishy, and even if the lid is up, eventually it will come down. Hi, yes. Alright, um, it's not all going to fit, which normally happens around here. I know. So what's going to happen is anything that's left over, I'm going to take and cut up. Eggies? Oh, well, maybe, maybe we'll make you eggies for dinner. Those are O's. You're eating O's. Sheets everything, so maybe we'll give her some of this. That should be an exciting diaper change. So anywho, that's that. That's like the huge wad of cabbage in there. Um, 
that'll go in. I'm gonna shoot for another hour, hour and a half until everything's completely squishy and mushy and uh, delicious, and then we'll check back and see how it all looks on a plate. Okay, it's been about six, six and a half hours. Shut up. Final product, corned beef, cooked in a Guinness in a splash of the knot. There's the cabbage, potatoes, there's carrots. I made coal cannon, which is gonna be made with dog meat here shortly, but it's mashed potatoes with uh, either leeks or onion and uh, ca cabbage and uh, made a soda bread. So I'm gonna let the wife taste the first bit. Do you want cabbage with it? Sure. All right, open up. Mm-hmm. Mmm, salt. All right. So, uh, oh, that's good. Try a little bit myself. It's... <laughs> Shut up! It's good. It's good. It's good. We do the flat point, like I said, because it's got a lot less fat on it. It's just a slab of fat you can just slice off when it's done. But there it is. It was pretty much a hands-off thing. The bread doesn't... <laughs> Soda bread doesn't take long. Coal canna doesn't take long. It's really just throw it in and that's it. So. <laughs> have a shot. Yes, have a have a happy uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day is what it is. L'chaim. <laughs> that's right. Hey, that's enough. Oh, you have to stop. Oh.